here are some neural networks applied to the Nintendo. I want to say a bit more about adversarial networks. So there are two models here, two neural networks, and the first neural network is the generator. And the input to the generator is the Nintendo's RAM, its memory. The desired output is the corresponding image on the Nintendo screen. Now the generator is also being trained to fool the discriminator. So, ah, so what's the discriminator? Okay, so as the generator is being trained, we're also training another neural network, the, the discriminator. And we're feeding the discriminator the Nintendo's RAM and the output from the generator and training the discriminator to identify these as fake. While at the same time, we're also feeding the discriminator with the Nintendo's RAM and the actual output from the Nintendo and training the discriminator to identify these as real. So I've got the Nintendo and the memory dump of the Nintendo's RAM. Let's start playing the game here. Now, looking at the memory dump is not super informative, so we can switch over to just pulling out a few memory locations. Uh, yeah, you can see that my state goes from 1 to 0 when I'm big, and now back up to 1 when I'm small again. Uh, I can see my X position on the screen changes there. Y position changes as I jump. Oh, and here my state is going to go back to 0 because I'm big Mario again. Uh, yeah, so now the idea is that we're going to train a neural network to predict the screen output just based on the contents of uh, the Nintendo's RAM. Okay, here, here we go. So let's, let's see, this thing, uh, see this thing in action. Let's see what the model predicts that Nintendo's uh, screen is supposed to look like just from the contents of it. So it's pretty good at the beginning here. Uh, well, I mean, this, maybe I... <laughs> looks doesn't seem like the mushroom did anything. I mean, that's not so surprising because this, I mean, this thing was trained on random input, so probably it's never seen what happens when a mushroom is captured. Uh, here, I've got another mushroom, but that's not, uh, not doing too much. It definitely, definitely seems to know it should be scrolling. Uh, I mean, that is something. Definitely feels like it should be moving through the level and the, the clouds in the sky are, are moving along. That's a, a good sign. Now, I mean, surely the training never made it to the end of this level, so it will have no idea what to do here. Uh, <laughs> it's just maybe not so surprising. I guess it knows it's not supposed to be scrolling. That's something. Okay, well, the screen went black. That's pretty good. Um, this cutscene is never experienced, I'm sure, in the training. Um, and here we are. I mean, we're actually in level one, too, but of course the training never made it to level one, too, so it has no idea what to display. It, it still does have a feeling that it should be scrolling, so that's uh, that's pretty good. Well, in the area, this didn't work maybe too well, but if you want to try uh, try this for yourself, I'll upload the uh, the train model to uh, to GitHub as well as the uh, the source code, and I'll put that in the de in the description down below. So pretty fun, really, that it that it works at all, and it's pretty cool that it works on uh, on Nintendo games, uh, just pretty much just as well as it did on the Atari games. You know, I'm surprised that the uh, the same that same system, you know, it does do something. That's uh, that's that's pretty funny. <laughs>